Good evening, everybody. This is Pastor Michael at Ascension Lutheran Church in Torrance, California. Thank you for joining us this evening for our midweek Lenten message. Those of you who are members of our congregation, we have just one announcement for you. This Sunday, February 28th, we'll be having our outdoor communion service at 9.30 a.m. That's February 28th at 9.30 a.m. Now may the message bless you. The first part of Isaiah 53, verse 6, says this, All we like sheep have gone astray, each of us to his own way. Now that's an important verse for us to contemplate this Lent for two reasons. First of all, because it's important that we realize that we're sinners, that we have fallen short of everything that God has commanded of us. And if we don't understand that we're sinners, then the, the message of the cross has, has no effect on us. If we think that we have no need of it, we're, we're not going to grab hold of it through faith. After all, if I don't think I'm really a sinner, if I don't really think there's a right and a wrong, and that I haven't violated anything, anything or anybody, then why should I care that somebody forgives me? The other reason that it's important that we understand that we are sinners and that all have sinned and fallen short of what God desires is that it means everybody else has done the same thing. It means we're all in the same boat. And I can't judge another person because I am just as big a sinner as he is. But I also should not feel condemned by this person who's judging me because he is just as big a sinner as I. For those two reasons, it's important that we understand the first half of this verse. That all of us, like sheep, have gone astray, each of us his own way. But then there's the second part of the verse that says, But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That Yahweh, God, has laid on him, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the sins of all of us. That's the gospel. That God has taken all sin upon himself so that we are no longer under condemnation because of sin. Now, if we, if we got the first part and we trusted it and believe it, because it's true that we are sinners, then we're ready to receive the second part, which says that we are forgiven. We are forgiven sinners because Yahweh, the Lord, has laid on Jesus the sin of us all. People, that's the good news. And while, yes, it's Lent, and, and we're called to contemplate our sinfulness, it is never a time to forget God's grace and mercy. That God the Father has laid the sins of all mankind on his Son. And that's the gospel that we're called to proclaim to the world. He doesn't tell us that we're called to tell people to make a decision or to, or to do such and such. We're called to proclaim the gospel, the good news, that God has laid on his own son the iniquity of the whole world. And for those of us who understand that we're sinners and realize that we fall short of what God desires and commands of us, then it truly is good news. And it changes our life. Hear the word tonight. And let it change you. Let it turn you back to God. Amen.